if you want to know the best miniseries, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of 2021. We need a car. Oh, can we take this one? Man, this thing's beautiful. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good TV show again. Number 10. Where the hell have you been? I have been calling you all day. Sorry. Don't do that. Where were you? Midnight Mass is a supernatural horror miniseries created by Mike Flanagan. After four years of serving in prison due to drunk driving and killing someone, a man can return to his hometown. At the same time, a mysterious priest appears and lifts the hopes and spirits of the depressed and isolated inhabitants. But as weird things begin to happen around the place, there might be a connection to the young religious man that will reveal long buried secrets. You want to take a boat out? You want to take no for an answer? So we grabbed a rowboat. We rowed out. Far. Smoked a pack of cigarettes, watched the sun come up. Can you do that with me now? Number nine. He's my partner. We're not partners. Well, we're friends slash partners. I wouldn't really describe us as friends. Hawkeye is an action crime superhero miniseries created by Jonathan Igla. Finally bringing the charismatic arrow shooter to his own screen, Hawkeye follows agent Clint Barton on a mission to not only save the world, but Christmas, when he is separated from his family over the holiday. Upon meeting a mysterious new young player in the game, he stumbles down a case of crime and gang wars that leads him right to a dangerous enemy. See, CB1 has trouble opening up. Uh, nobody calls me CB1. Well, I'm just trying to know for a second. Probably some early childhood thing. He thinks he doesn't tell me much, but he ends up kind of... A virtual tower, nothing. Um, but yeah, I think it's because I'm generally just pretty chill. You know, I'm not like, oh my god, Hawkeye! <laughs> Number eight. You're not my neighbor. And you're definitely not my friend. WandaVision is a superhero mystery miniseries created by Jack Schaefer. The almighty Scarlet Witch is back with her own TV show, but something is off about her and her loving husband, Vision. The perfect life they live doesn't fit their traumatizing superhero history, considering the fact that Vision is not even alive anymore. But what exactly is going on in Wanda's teeny tiny perfect suburban life, and why is everyone acting weird all of a sudden? You are a stranger and an outsider. Right now, you are trespassing here, and I want you to leave. Number seven. Nah. No Onyx with Reality Engine. I thought it was not in Berlin. The Billion Dollar Code is a German drama miniseries created by Robert Talheim and Oliver Zeigenbalg. This war against the almighty Google is told in different timelines, which all circle around one issue, a legal dispute between internet giant Google and two German computer pioneers in order to be recognized as the inventor of the Google Earth algorithm. Throughout the show, we witness both the hacker scene in the 90s post-reunification Berlin, as well as the idealistic world of Silicon Valley, who clash in a multi-million dollar process. RGB plus Alpha Kanal, then have we at the end a special bus Ihr macht das Ganze fast hundertmal schneller. Okay. Number six. Full time, great. Yes, but full time in a 40 hour week. Company policy is you can't work more than six hours a day. Made is a drama miniseries created by Molly Smith Metzler, bringing home a story of well known but convincing tropes with real emotions and an approach that feels like it was grabbed directly from life. Made follows a young, struggling single mother. Having left her abusive boyfriend and moved into a shelter with her toddler, she navigates trauma, a dysfunctional family, work, a child, and her dreams of one day becoming a professional writer. It's a weekly three-hour clean over on Fisher Island. One shift. Oh, okay. So, uniforms, 25 bucks. Comes out of your first check. Number five. Good morning. You must be Drew's grandmother. Yes, Mayor. Nice to finally meet you. Mayor of Easttown is a crime drama miniseries created by Brad Inglesby, winning over all fans of detective stories with subtle pacing and slow-building suspense that reaches a purely climactic finale. Mayor of Easttown follows a burned-out and broken mother and detective who's earned herself a reputation in failing at finding a kidnapped child. 
As a new children murder traumatizes the small town, this might be the last chance to solve a buried crime. We're concerned that these ticks, um, we don't know if it's a genes thing, you know, if it's passed down. My son was like this as a young boy. Number four. You'll be famous. Do you know what? I would love that. It's a Sin is a drama miniseries created by Russell T. Davies, shining a brighter spotlight on the complexity of homosexual relationships and their daily challenges, especially in the 80s. It's a Sin follows a group of gay men in 1981 London. With AIDS at its peak, their love and personal lives are impacted like never before. Circling around the group for half a decade, the story depicts how time and culture change their perception of relationships and desires. I could have done anything. But I never will now. I never will. You might. I'll never be anything. Number three. What is the uh, primary factor contributing to the success of your marriage? Hmm. Scenes from a Marriage is a drama miniseries created by Haggai Levi. This brilliant approach to better understand modern marriage brings us the fresh idea of its title. Over the course of years, we explore tropes of love, including desire, fear, betrayal, marriage, and divorce, through the eyes of a contemporary American couple. Spanning over several years where we become first-hand witnesses of how time leaves marks, scars, and consequences to a relationship, the show re-examines what intimacy really means. Oh, don't look so scared. I'm not. What's going on? I'm pregnant. What? Number two. Questions? Yes. Last week, I had a doctor tell me he had two patients taking way more pills than he prescribed. Dope Sick is a drama miniseries created by Danny Strong. Leaving audiences in horrifying awe with its approach to telling a real and ugly story, Dope Sick shows how one company set loose the worst wave of drug use and addiction in the history of America. With a powerhouse cast and a truth to be spoken, Dope Sick explores how the epicenter of American culture struggles with opioid addiction and how money, power, and greed led to the health crisis of the century. Uh, Ma'am, if people are living with unnecessary pain and they're being stigmatized when the solution is right in front of them, if people are suffering, they need a higher dose. Before we unveil TV show number one, here are some honorable mentions. La pasante trabaja para la policía. Matt, cuidado que nos vamos a meter en un lío. Con mis antecedentes me iban a coser a preguntas. Tenía que mentir y sacármelos de encima. Yo espero que sepas lo que haces. Esto es personal. Y no quiero otro detective. Te quiero a ti, Zoe. Necesito a alguien de confianza en todo esto. Estamos. Portside, Backwater, Starberside, Midway. Trying to get through to Jen Tassin to get him to move right away. Christ. We didn't think she'd get trapped there. Paul, uh, listen, I, I need you to go there right away. All right. Uh, just until the police arrive. All right, my friend. Well, finally, we do it my way. Number one. Are, are you Dexter Morgan? It's me, Harrison. Dexter New Blood is a crime drama mystery television series created by Clyde Phillips. Years after the conclusion of the world's most beloved serial killer series that left fans disappointed, Dexter finally returns for a finale that is worth having unknowingly waited for. A decade after faking his death, Dexter has taken on a new personality as a shop owner in a small town, with the chief of police as his girlfriend. But when a series of incidents triggers his serial killer urges, he fears being discovered. This is way more firepower than anything you need hunting around here. Oh yeah? What do you hunt? Me, I don't anymore. I haven't killed any animals since I was a teenager. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular TV show in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 TV show videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.